Meanwhile, the Joint Action Committee on Non-Violence Movement and their 27 civil society organizations protested Kaduna's IDET profile, demanding EFCC and IPCC, uh, ICPC to investigate the $587 million, $85 billion, and 115 contractual liabilities inherited from the last Nasser Arafat administration demanding a thorough investigation of the state's financial situation. With a huge debt body totaling $587 million, $85 billion naira, and 115 contractual liabilities, thereby making it difficult for the state government to pay salaries and contractors' debt obligations. The state received allocation of $10 billion naira from the Federation account for the month of March, out of which $7 billion was deducted to service debt left by the previous administration. The balance of $3 billion is not enough, as you are already aware, for the governor to pay salaries and other financial obligations of the state. We commend His Excellency so far, the Senator Obasani, for running the state without borrowing a single kobo since he assumed office. Working on some ongoing projects in the state relating to education, housing, rural infrastructure, feeder roads, housing, which are presently spread across the 23 local government of Cardinals. Yeah, the group criticizes Governor Obasani for not constructing three specialist hospitals in sanitary zones and for not borrowing while focusing on education, housing, rural infrastructure, and housing across 23 local government areas. We are parents, we have children at home. It will, be, it will affect our children, it will affect the livelihood completely of a family. Because that salary is what all families depend on. Even with the salaries they, they manage, it, it doesn't go anywhere. Not to talk of not even having salary at all. It's going to be very, very disheartening. The families cannot continue to, you know, will not be able to cope in this harsh condition that we are now already. And uh, Women in Politics Forum has urged for immediate payments of workers' wages, highlighting the unacceptable situation and negative impact on families. A forensic audit of investigation should be, should be, should be set up to, to, to find out the status of the IGR in the state. That the task force should be constituted to recover all monies and government assets from the former political appointees and former State House of Assembly members and the likes. That anybody found wanting for the investigation should have his assets confiscated and forfeited to the state government. Person or persons be handed over to EFCC and ICPC for further investigations. We members of JCON, however, advocated that it is unacceptable that workers are not paid their regular salaries for the month of March, for the month of March, that the salary of workers should be paid immediately. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.